Okay, I'm going to show you how to use Subversion now. Uh, my mouse is flickering all around, so this looks very strange. And anyways, regardless, uh, what we do is we go to our folder um, where we want to edit our files. Gosh, this is just really irritating. I'm not happy with this Camtasia product, but regardless, um, just giving it a go. So I'm going to uh, open up a document. make a change to it and then save that back into uh, the subversion repository. And I've got a noisy background here so it's probably not going to be super easy to hear. But we'll do our best. Hmm. I'm at Starbucks. There's a plug. And I wonder if I can make any money. Advertising for Starbucks. Actually, they probably pay me to not post this on YouTube. Here's a nerd recording how to use uh, tortoise subversion. And he drinks Starbucks. If you drink Starbucks, you're a nerd too. <laughs> okay, come on, this is so slow. I cannot believe that. Okay, Camtasia's definitely. This is the most recent version of it. But I am running this on a network, which maybe has not that much horsepower. But when I run this on my Mac, or what is it called? Screenflow, then it runs awesome. I cannot see how slow this is. Um, normally, this is a snap of fingers and it's open. Uh, but when you've got Camtasia running, this takes a billion years. Okay, so I need to make and it's here. Some garbage. Okay, hit save. And here's the save button. And then it closes. And the Camtasia sucks. There's another one called the Link, which I probably but a hundred times the light and it runs much better. But anyways, um, hopefully it's recording on this crap. And uh, you can see just how bad it is that you never ever want to buy it and use it on a netbook. This has got an Atom Intel processor. It's a brand new netbook, so it should be alright. It runs Windows XP. Anyways, you can see that I've edited this document and there's this little um, red exclamation mark down here. This basically means that the document needs to be checked in. So I'll right click here and I will hit commit. I'm listening to some groovy music so don't mind the dancing. Oh my god, Camtasia is just killing this machine. All of this is going to click, click, click. Okay, so I just hit OK. And uh, you see this status screen. And you see this modify setting, blah, blah, blah. And it's all done. This goes to OK. I just click OK. And this should turn into a green check. power of my machine. I'm going to stop it and post this to YouTube. So that's basically how simple it is to use Tortoise SDN. There's a couple of steps you've got to do initially to start it up, uh, to install it and configure it, but those are captured in other screencasts. I just wanted to show you how simple uh, it is to use Tortoise SDN.